The successful offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region was a heavy blow for Russian ultra-patriots. Z-propagandist Yakov Kedmi could not restrain himself and spoke out extremely harshly against the army and the Russian authorities. He made bold statements in an interview with the Bulgarian channel, Pogled Info. Kedmi expressed confidence that the main goal of the Kursk operation was, propaganda. And the Ukrainian forces carried it out magnificently. First, they showed that the Russian army is weak. Second, that the Ukrainian army is strong. They succeeded. They did not start throwing them out from there. The Ukrainian army turned out to be much stronger than the Russian general staff and the Russian leadership expected, the propagandist said. He noted that during the Great War, Ukraine had already carried out such lightning attacks with a breakthrough of the front many times. Meanwhile, the Russian armed forces are marking time, waging bloody battles for the forester's hut. Russia cannot defeat Ukraine. Russia's actions prove that it is not capable of breaking through the Ukrainian defense and winning. Russia could not defeat small Ukraine. Russia, which boasts that it has the strongest army in the world, could not cope with the Ukrainian army, Kedmi said. He expressed confidence that the Kremlin will not achieve its goals in this war. It is already obvious that Ukraine has survived this war and has survived as a state. The expression, demilitarization, is a laughing matter today. Conduct demilitarization at least in the Kursk region on Russian territory before you conduct it on Ukrainian territory, the propagandist said. Russia has a shortage of microchips in its war against Ukraine, but the country has found a solution for this. Russian companies are using old Dutch ASML machines in the production of weapons to be used against Ukraine. According to Euromaidan media outlet, this revelation underscores challenges of enforcing sanctions in the complex supply chain. While ASML has ceased direct shipments to Russia, the country has found alternative means to keep its chips production operational. This workaround allows Russia to maintain a degree of technological self-sufficiency in its military operations, prolonging the war against Ukraine and makes Ukrainian citizens extra vulnerable to new attacks. In addition, it raises questions about the effectiveness of current export controls. As reported by Dutch newspaper Trau, intermediaries in China provide spare parts, allowing Russia to keep the machines running. As a result, Russia can produce some of its own chips for tanks, missiles and drones. These are weapons used daily to attack Ukrainian civilians and military personnel. As of 2023, Dutch company ASML, it is the largest supplier for the semiconductor industry and the sole supplier in the world of extreme ultraviolet lithography, photolithography machines that are required to manufacture the most advanced chips. The company has long since stopped sending spare parts. The company confirms that it complies with the imposed sanctions on Russia. They claim to have not shipped anything to Russia for years. One advantage for Ukraine is that the machines do not produce the most advanced chips. However, according to American University lecturer Chris Miller, author of Chip War, the fight for the world's most critical technology, this may not be a problem for Russia. According to the university lecturer, Russia can still easily make simple chips for tanks, airplanes, drones and missiles. Simple chips are often used in the military, but actually in all devices. A car contains thousands of chips, but only a few of them are the latest technology, Miller noted. In essence, Russia doesn't need the latest state-of-the-art chips to continue weapons production. The question is how Russia manages to keep its ASML equipment running for so long. Without new spare parts, a machine can break down after only a year, experts say. A number of small Russian importers could explain the circumvention. Customs records accessed by Trow show that, since the start of the Russo-Ukrainian war, they have gotten spare parts for ASML machines into the country at least 170 more times, and that lasted at least until December 2023. 
These are middlemen who scour the market for usable parts, such as the highly specialized ASML equipment. They then resell the imported goods to manufacturers in Russia. Some of these traders, such as AK, Microtech and Ostec EC, are already on Western sanctions lists because they have proved important to the arms and chip industry. Other importers from the customs data accessed by Trow are not yet on sanctions lists. These include Kraftec from St. Petersburg and VLK Logistica from Moscow. In addition, the Dutch outlet notes that other ways Russia manages to acquire these chips is through middlemen in China and Serbia. Increasingly, there is more evidence on Western chips featured in Russian weapons which are being used against Ukraine.